So welcome to another Camberley Chess Club Zoom meeting. Uh, we're now monthly on Sundays uh, and, uh, and on YouTube, of course. Uh, so this evening, uh, uh, we are fortunate to have uh, James Pratt, who is going to uh, give us uh, a tribute, I think is the right word, to the late Michael Bassman, who I think most chess players uh, and chess enthusiasts will know either well or will know something about him. Um, and uh, James is going to uh, give us uh, a session entitled The Life and Games of the International Master, Michael Basman, Teacher and Player. Just before you start, uh, James, it, it's actually worth noting that um, uh, uh, J uh, Michael Basman actually uh, came to Cambly Chess Club many years ago, about 1985, and I know this because you're probably aware Gordon Birch, a, a, a long time member of Canby Chess Club, uh, died uh, nearly a year ago. And in fact, when we looked into uh, some of the history uh, of Gordon, uh, we came upon the fact that um, he organised a simultaneous display at his house where Michael Basman attended. Um, and Gordon Birch was actually the only player to not lose uh, his game. Um, and it was about that time that uh, Gordon decided, I think, with some influence from Michael Basman, to, to uh, always play the Grob opening. <laughs> um, I think that connects quite well with, with perhaps what you're going to talk about, James. Um, yeah. Because, you know, Gordon Burke literally played the Grob on a regular basis. And certainly in the last 10 to 15 years at least that I know of personally, he always played it. And um, if you look at chess.com and, and look up Gordon, he played 3000 grob opening games in the last year uh, uh, that he was uh, around and playing on chess.com. So, all right, well, without further ado, I will pass over to you, James. Thank you very much. Just to explain, Mike Basman died um, a little over a week ago um, he was uh, ill with cancer, but, but he refused any treatment. Um, I think this is typical of him to be a somewhat rebellious man, but um, he was never uh, mainstream in his thinking. Um, as a young man, uh, he came from mixed stock, shall we say, and was born just after the Second World War. And in that respect, I think he would have been happy to have been uh, crowded in with Ray Keane, Bill Hartston and Andrew Whiteley, all of whom were born just uh, in the late 1940s. 4,000 words in Spanish or Arabic. What's wow. That? What was that? I think, I think could, could we ask if you've got something going on in the background to do with the language, if you could go on mute, otherwise I'll start um, just muting people anyway. But sorry, James, go on. No, no, okay. Um, Mike, as I say, Michael was, uh, he went to Armenia as a young man and his father was Armenian um, and he stayed there for some time. And I think he was always a very restless person in, in that regard. Um, but I also think he had a sneaking admiration for players like Hartson and Keane, who were in essence better read than he was, although it doesn't make uh, them uh, a better player. Uh, Ray Keane became a grandmaster, Bill Hartston stayed an international master, um, and in 1980 Michael himself became an IM. Um, I, I'm showing you a game here between uh, Michael Basman and Michael Steen, who went on to become uh, a grandmaster and in fact retired from the game uh, some, uh, some years back. But um, this is one of Michael's uh, more famous games. And unlike uh, the uh, more recent games of which he become notorious, shall we say, and, it, and I do not slap that name or that word on him lightly, um, it, it actually begins quite conventionally with uh, good old Pawns King 4. So let's see if I can get this to work. Yes, okay. Well, here we have Steen playing the Sicilian defense, 
Um, he was to go on and write a superb book on the Nidorf, but this is not going to be a Nidorf. So here we have Michael um, behaving himself. As a young master, he very much enjoyed um, playing the uh, Mora Gambit, and I wouldn't have put it past him playing this, although uh, I don't think uh, Michael Steen would have, would have minded if he did. Now here we have something which a little bit reminiscent of what Alekine liked to do, just sort of keep your options open, but uh, it's about to take a, a darker turn. Yes, let me see. Now, Leonard Barton always used to like to explain that you can form a larger center if you do this. But of course, it does mean that Black has, in essence, got an extra move now, which uh, if he was to play e5, it might prevent uh, the d4 break. But on the other hand, uh, he didn't particularly want that. In fact, here we go. Now, now. Hmm. Viewers at home only. Can you spot what would happen, which he didn't do, if White castled? Well, Black could clearly take on e4 if he wanted to. Right. Well, let's look, because this is exactly what happened. The point being that if you take on e4, now d5 sends the knight on a little journey and you're going to get quite a lot of compensation. Look at that. Look at this. And look at this. So Steen, who is very good at calculating, had no doubt worked out. Now, if the knight moves, doesn't queen a4 win a piece? Mm. But do you seriously think Michael Steen is going to fall for a one move cheapo? What do you think Black should play here? He's got Queen A5 check. He has got Queen A5 check. Is there anything better than that? You may be, maybe Queen, you Queen know. B6. Queen B6. Oh, mm. yes. Oh, yes. Do you think. Not necessarily, right? Well, no, no, but it is a move, isn't it? It's Queen true. b6, then if you take on c6, then you're mated on f2. And which of us hasn't fallen for that, particularly when we're playing in the Hastings Premier? <laughs> so <laughs> let's have a look. He does, in fact, play Queen a5 check. And it's blocked. <laughs> and now... The knight can move. Uh -huh. And now Michael does something which perhaps it wouldn't have been anticipated. He takes anyway. And now we see his Swedish zoo because white's pawns are every which way. And the queen comes in with check. Mm. Now, this is the position which Mike must have had on the drawing board back in Chesington, where he lived much of all of his life but uh he castled here now you will notice how much he has gambited so it's rather like a game from the 19th century i'm sure michael would be delighted for me to say that yeah to, to me to me james it just looks like black is you know so far ahead and i can't see any how white's going to break through i'd much rather no there, there's nothing tangible is there Mm. Um, all, but Basman has got, uh, there's two factors to consider. One is that Steen was very inexperienced master at this time, whereas uh, Mike Basman wasn't. He was already tied for first place in the British Championships. And second is he's also got a position which he enjoys playing. This is something that Paul Littlewood went into when he won the British Championship. He said people get very, very tense playing chess. I know I always did at my ridiculous level. but the point I'm making was, he said, I, I, I head for positions I'm interested in uh, because, well, you know, it's my game, you know. And I think with Michael, he did like uh, the initiative, which I think you could still say, look at that. He's giving away another pawn. So he oh. really is going to death or glory. Um, this game was annotated in the chess player 
um, which was a publication which has long disappeared in that form anyway. Um, and they recommended here F6. I can't for the life of me understand that. But I think I think a six is a possibility to to stop the bishop checking on b five. Yes, that would be handy. It's also a Sicilian like move anyway, isn't it? Really, um, and it keeps up your options open. Anyway, Michael played e six and blow me down. Of course, if bishop d seven, bishop takes bishop, king takes, and uh, a bit of fun ensues, a bit of a scuffle. There we are. And as predicted. And now, what do you think white played? Hardly anything earth shattering. Yeah, he can get another check with the queen. He can, he can. Never miss a check, it might be mate. Who mm -hmm. said that originally? I think it might have been Blackburn, actually. Mm -hmm. There we are, not sure. So look at this now. He sacrifices. Woo! Yeah. This is what the crowd likes, gentlemen. This is what the crowd likes. Bang for blood. What's that bishop doing on D2? <laughs> oh, and he ain't going to take it. So Michael wheels out another chariot. Mm. Look at this. Bank's development is terrible, isn't it? Mm, mm. Well, yes, but you must remember that Michael Steen was a very, very promising player. Uh, third in the World Junior Championship, Tony Miles second, and Beliavsky won it. Um, became, in the end, by about 1980, uh, the number two player in Britain, ahead of Hartston mm. and Keane, uh, certainly way ahead of Michael Basman. Anyway, here we have pressure against the Queen, not quite certain if that's so great. I don't think I'd be that worried. I think when Steen was sitting here, he was trying to keep a straight face. So uh, there we are. Basman's got four pawns. He's three pawns down. Mm. I wouldn't want to be three pawns down against Michael Steen. Right. And now here. And slightly surprisingly, he exchanges rooks. Mm. Would you have done that? I, do, I don't know. Um, gentlemen, I throw it open to the floor. Would you exchange rooks? Well, but is it because white doesn't need to take back? Bishop b6 is looking very strong. So yes, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't exchange rooks. There must be something else. Yes. I mean, well, I, often... Often in chess, particularly at my level, if you sort of do something which looks very forcing, your opponent sort of immediately doesn't agree, you know, just on principle, like the boss saying, I said, well, we'll come in at nine o'clock after the meeting. No, I'd rather you were here before the meeting. You know, <laughs> and in point of fact, it didn't really make any difference one way or the other. But, you know, she's the boss and I'm not. <laughs> so, well, it's true, isn't it? You get, yeah. I, I so see what she means. I mean, she, she could turn around and say, excuse me, you're not the boss. Well, here... The queen um, has uh, checking possibilities and uh, uh, complications, but black still has uh, some nice advantage in material. Now, the next move doesn't look too good to me, but I, I'm just daft. Mm. Look at that. I don't want the queen to check on the back rank and to lose the, the rook on h8, but... We can but see Michael checks, no surprise to anybody. But the next move will surprise. What do you think Basman played here? Well, you can see actually, can't you? Because the move's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying not to look, James. So I haven't. Yeah, don't look, you can't stand it. I, I haven't looked. Well, don't. Don't. He played, check. Oh. And got F6 got rid of that. But... Steen, Steen, yes, F6 gets rid of it. But now... No, the king can't get away. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. yeah. And Michael, not wanting to go back to the back rank, as I indicated, comes here. Oh. And on that, the king is dead. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I think Michael Basman was... A very unusual man. He had faults. 
he was lazy and I did work for him for various on various projects and sometimes things didn't go so well for us but um, I could I just just say a bit but about this opening, I, I oh, yes. when I was younger, I got caught in, in this opening in a trap. One of the ones you said at the beginning where I lost the night. Oh, yes. And then after it, I did, I did, he did an audio tape that I got on this opening. That's right, he did. In the Michael Basman, and yeah. I, for, I have since always played it against the Sicilian. It's my really? favourite Really? Still, oh, you still play it? That, that, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yes. I mean, this, this line is very sharp, and it only comes up in a few of the games. It's you're right it doesn't it the doesn't, on e4 there's a, most there's, people don't don't go for that they play yeah. more solidly yes there's a game of julian hodgson's which i will not quote but mm. um, in this line um yeah basman was friends with a lot of people yeah. um not just you know acquaintances and uh julian was one of them and he took up this system uh with uh, considerable uh mm. dynamism which was uh uh, you'll remember that uh, Ken Coates gave a talk about Julian Hodgson. Um, uh, Paul, have you still got your audio tape of uh, Michael Basman talking I, about him? I do. <laughs> you, you, you must, um, you must play it to us one day. Right. <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah, good. Nice. Paul, you can re uh, 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 request that on Desert Island Discs or something. <laughs> uh, in fact, the game, the game you mentioned about Julian Hodgson in this one. Yes. Uh, Joe Gallagher did a book on on the anti Sicilians, and he gives both both the the Hudson game and this this is a, a game as well. Yeah. Yes, well, of course, Joe was um, originally from Wimbledon, uh, which is not a million miles from where Michael lived. Um, okay. I'm not saying that's significant, but it 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 probably is a factor. Now, i um, see if I can uh, get onto another game for you. Um, as an aside, I think um, Fiddler beat Kasparov in a, a similar line to that variation. Really? Yeah. Oopner? Robert uh, Svid Svidler, Peter Svidler. Oh, I know, yes. Kasparov. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're right, because I think somebody, I think it was Richard James, said, I wonder if he's heard the tape, which is, <laughs> <laughs> which is a wonderful, which is a wonderful tribute. Anyway, here we are again. This is from the Hastings uh, weekend event. Uh, Michael, would, uh, the premier, was sort of pegging out by that time. And it's against a gentleman, I'm sorry. He's a grandmaster, um, but I've never heard of him and I can't pronounce his name. Uh, you can see it coming up on the Ha uh, Z route. Did you, did you want to hide the moves, James, or move them over so they're a lot smaller? Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so. Um, just grab, grab, grab the line between the board and the moves and move it over. No, the other way. All right. Just so Make that they are, they're less prominent and we're less likely to uh, see them. To, well, to, to accidentally look. That's better. OK. Now I can just look at the board. Yes. Let's just hang on. Let's just, <clears throat> I can't get rid of your love smiling faces. Anyway, this is this is a game which uh, Michael uh, this is one of his best games in the last part of his career. Um, he always used to come down to Hastings if he could. Um, largely as a spectator, but here he plays as a competitor. Now, this is another one of his audio tapes. Uh, this, this system, which he first came up with in about 1973, um, and played it against uh, George Bostrill and Bill Hartston, and did quite quite reasonably with it um but uh it's not well thought of uh it's a bit committal to bring the bishop out so early and uh shunt it to the side uh rather than uh, have a have a a neat albeit smaller center and bring your knights out but uh, louis paulson played something like this in the 19th century and it and it bears his name to an extent So that gets on with some development. And there's a gaping hole on D6. Look at that. As my old friend Peter Wilson used to say, it's rude to point. Gosh, I wonder where the Queen might be going. <laughs> but no more. Yes, so Black is obliged to play a move that I don't think 
he wanted to do f6 looks a bit doesn't it Whoa, complex that's an interesting moment he opens the a file but doesn't take on b6 with his queen i think i might have done it the other way around but i don't know anyway there we are so the dust settles a little bit white uh, uh can reform with d4 and the queen hasn't got a friend at the moment to support a kingside attack but that's this is early days so very committal move oh i like f4 i like that well so a flank attack being met as John Littlewood might have said, the central thrust. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Here, here comes the chopper to chop off your head. Oh, pleading for some degree of clemency, will you exchange queens? And surprisingly, he doesn't. So therefore, the rook is not wasted on h3, if indeed she, he gets there. Now that's a move I would not have thought of in a thousand years. Hang on, what 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 was wrong with carrying on with the rook, rook f three rook h yeah. three plan? Well, maybe just h maybe just h six, but what hack it with a bishop? Yeah, uh, I suppose he can defend with queen f seven easily, can't he? And that's the end of it. Well, yeah, I, it would depend on. I mean, I'm sure at their level they can count, they can as as much as visualize, as much as calculate uh, how you know what would emerge from the wreckage. Um, if, if you play rook h3, he's got knight mm. takes f5, isn't he? Has he? Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, and the pawn yeah. is um, queen h7 check. No, he hasn't. Yeah. Oh, you think? Well, hang a sec. Yeah. Rook know. h3, knight f5, queen take h7 check, I guess it's possible. And that's good, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that good nice sweetheart, yeah. isn't it? Yes, mm. yes. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, the queen comes back. Um, why? Yes, exactly. Why? <laughs> well, I suppose the the exchange on d4, on e4. But, but he, he was guarding it on, on with his queen on h4 anyway. I know, and I expect he spotted that. I think maybe he's just moving away from the X-ray. Hang on, he's scary, gone back again. <laughs> so, so, so now he's he's definitely wasted two. Oh, I see what uh, if the if the rook came to it. Uh, I see now uh, it, because it can't be captured uh, if you take on f five because uh, the the rook is on the queen. That's what you were saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. Anyway, queen h four. Uh, and now some manoeuvrings in the Basman household. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. You wouldn't think it gets a 2500 player with a grandmaster title that Black had a prayer. But Michael is not easily flummoxed. <laughs> now there's a brave move. What's, what does that do? Well, I think what it says is chess is a game and not an exact science. And if you want the exchange, I would like a little bit of the initiative in exchange. Husband does not give away rooks. He, he, he wants to get rid of the white black squared bishop because his queen is going to be very handy on c5, I would say. Yes, think. yes, that's right. It's going to gain at least a tempo, isn't it? Coming to that square at some point. So he takes it, and the knight now takes up not a commanding position, but it, it it's cool. uh, it's almost it's not quite worth a rook, is it? But it's it's nice to have it. And the queen, and the bishop, at last emerges mm. from <laughs> its slumbers. No. What's rook packed there? Well, a rook is often ungainly, isn't it? In a middle game position, sometimes it's uh, 
I always like to try and keep my rooks. Uh, have a bit of a whoa. Mm. No, it does it. Now mm -hmm. look here. Oh, spot the cheapo. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's one completely missed. Queen no. takes h6. No, 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 it isn't. Oh, no. Whoa. Now, would you sign his death warrant? No. <laughs> Lose the exchange again. For buggering hell. Oh, takes on c1, yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's only the exchange back, isn't it? Well, yeah, but you can see Basman is going to be showing it's... the genius this. And yeah. here we have a oh. knight. Here we have a knight fork. And that comes the king to see what all the commotion's about. <laughs> Actually, I should have asked you to guess which he, he, he could have taken the other rook. Interestingly, mm. he could have. He could have done. Which, which? Oh no, it's still guarded. But yeah, queen c one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't notice the queen. Yeah, yeah. No, that's interesting. He didn't want mm. to. What? He wants to take that? the knight because he lost mm. his queen. So Michael has seen, mm. of course, rather more deeply, hasn't he? Yes. He, yeah. Suddenly, yeah, he, that he got off the canvas. Uh, mm. And this is the Basman of old. So it wasn't an exchange uh, back. It was a rook back. Yeah, it was. But the complexity, because black had, uh, white had uh, uh, put the queen on h6. Queen on yeah. yeah, for no better reason than everything fitted together and just thought Basman was going to, well, hmm. but he didn't. So the queen comes back and the knight lives. Yeah. There. Now, gentlemen, in this position, who do you think you're the adjudicator or you're watching the game? And so I always play this with somebody I teach it. It's just if a non chess player was watching and said, How is my husband getting on? And you could, <laughs> what would you say? Just in, just in lay terms, he's winning, he's losing, I don't know, or, or, or wait and see. What would you say? Black stock on material. Right. Go on. I mean, a non-player might not know what you mean by material, but but yes, okay. Got more pieces on the board. Yeah. Okay. The knight is still very much out of it, isn't it? Really. Well, it's heading to to f four, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I suppose so. It, it's... G G three should see that off. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit precarious. Anyway, yeah. let, let's see what happens. Oh, well, it hits the bishop, guards the bishop, guards the knight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a bit brutal. All of a sudden, Basman is in his element. There we go. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have expected H uh, G three there, would you? G3? I suppose he, he didn't want the knight. Doesn't it trap the knight, yeah, a little bit? Yes, trap the knight a little bit. That, that's an interesting. Keeps <laughs> the knight in check. <laughs> I think my English would Either it traps the knight or it doesn't. But yes, you are right. It, it, it leads it into temptation. There we are. Whoa. Now he wants an ending. And Michael isn't going to give him one. Mm. Look at that. But Michael isn't going to. Michael mm. is seen to the end. Look. Mm. Oh. Now that that oh, takes that takes guts, doesn't it? That takes oh. guts. And White resigned. Is it so resignable? What well, what's mm. Well, I'm tempted to say, as my old science teacher used to say, you tell me. The Those are threats. Knight... Check and then knight f4 check. Um, so, so queen, queen g3. So where's the queen? 
like that. So, okay, but it's white smooth. So mm. let's move our queen. Mm. Yeah, but, the rook hangs, doesn't it, on c6? What, 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 can we not move the queen to c4, for example? We can. Maybe he just takes the. Um, yeah, I think it's just going to clean up, isn't it? Just take the rook, I think. Or or even take oh. g three first. Mm. Yes. Okay. In fact, you've got you've got you, you've got a variety of choices, haven't you? You could probably mm. possibly both could be good. In fact, you'll still take on g three because it's check, and you'll still go knight f four because it's check again. And yes. actually, it, it could get even more embarrassing with that it knight could. on f four. Very good coordination. I think yeah, that's knight and queen good. close to king is terrible, isn't it? Yes. Well, there we are. Just to, mm. just to conclude, um, uh, Michael Basman tied for first place with Bill Hartston, um, with whom he always got on reasonably well, I think, um, in 1973. And in 1974, they had a playoff, but unfortunately, Basman did lose rather heavily. Um, and when Basman came, uh, when Hartston came to Camberley to Anne Sonnick's house, which uh, I think became Gordon Birch's house, didn't it? Is that right? Uh, the Gordon Birch um, um, uh, thing I mentioned at the beginning was apparently in 85. So I think the Anna Sunnox must have been earlier, uh, James. Well, yes. It, oh, no, no. It, it, it was in uh, 76. But I meant that uh, didn't he buy Anne Sunnock's house uh, with the chess set in the garden, the, the concrete chess set in the garden? I, I don't know anything about John that. Upham, John Upham will know. He's the only right. person I know that knows. OK, sounds yeah. interesting. Well, there you are. Um, but he said, Basman, I passed this on to Michael, that it was only when he was actually sitting in front of Basman uh, that Hartson realised that he had a, a terrific fight on his hands. And in fact, Basman won the opening game, um, but unfortunately got little more than half a point out of the remaining games. So, in fact, Hartston won quite uh, convincingly. Mm. Um, obviously, his legacy also lies with, with, with the uh, uh, school's challenge, which uh, in the end was bought out by uh, the Longson, Sarah Longson and Alex, and uh, continues to this day. Um, and I'm sure th that they too uh, will miss Michael very much. Thank you. Thank you, James. Um, Thank you. I, I, I've got a couple of questions which you may bear to sure. help. James. I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, I mean, can, can you, you, you mentioned about Michael's um, early, uh, well, you mentioned his father and where he come from and all that sort of thing. I mean, how, yes. how, how did he progress so well at the beginning? And then the second question, which may be linked, I don't know, but he, he did a lot for chess, he did a lot for juniors. I believe. Um, maybe I'd be interested in your view or summary of what he did do for English chess. Because I well, think he, if it, he, he thought up the idea of the, uh, the chess challenge, which is uh, in, at, at various stages. Um, so initially they play in their own school and then they play uh, regionally and then they play uh, uh, north and south so they play and then finally there is a final um and lots of people can qualify according to their age group um and obviously some very fine players have emerged from this um uh, but he, he he's always likes uh, he keeps it fun i think um but he he did manage to get pretty good sponsorship um and as a result of that managed uh in, in fairly late middle age to actually acquire a few quid himself. Um, he has had problem. he did have problems in his lifetime with a tax man um, to the tune of 300,000 pounds, which I read somewhere is quite a lot of money, isn't it? But nevertheless, uh, uh, these, the, these matters were settled. Oh, you can stop screen sharing actually, James, will be good. If, if you finish with the board, then we, can, then we can see you better. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. That's it. Um, okay. A anyone else got any questions or any comments to make? Because I think. Um... Oh yes, please. I'm happy to answer any questions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I read Batman. Yeah. He, I think he was in the sixties. I think he had a game against Botvinnik, and Botvinnik recommend reckoned he was one of the best That's English right. players. He yes, he did. Um, 
uh, he played Botvinnik. Botvinnik came in 63 uh, when the Ice Age was on in, in Britain and 67 as well. And by the time of 67, he, Hartston and Keane were the uh, upthrusting players. And Botvinnik spoke very kindly of Michael, saying that uh, like Hugh Alexander, who uh, Botvinnik hated playing, um, Bransman uh, will probably become the leading English player, which in fact he didn't do. Um, he, he chose other paths for his life, but that's as may be. And he went to uh, Leeds University and studied history. And then, as I say, went back to Armenia and he won the regional championships, which uh, was literally unbelievable that he did that. Not because he wasn't strong enough, but with the national, national fervor was, was on a scale of a, 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 a football match. I mean, so to do that, was uh, literally it, it, it surpassed understanding because um, oh, it was was Petrosian from Armenia I can't remember it was it. yes yeah. it was yeah. but but Petrosian mm. didn't play in it but but mm. um that's as may be um but the standard uh, yeah very good yeah. yeah yeah absolutely um we were by that time living in the age of Fisher I think as much as anything um which uh, is both good and bad it's good because you know, he was a role model and sponsors came forward, but it was also Fisher disappeared very quickly um, and time went on and time went on. Um, and for Michael Basman, he actually had a job in the civil service. I actually know somebody that he worked with um, in the civil service because he would look out of the window and see children cycling to school and say all that pedal power that could be harnessed and we could use it for energy. <laughs> well, you can laugh if you want. <laughs> oh, it's true. But what, where did he work in the civil service, do you know, James? Um, I'd have to inquire. Um, I, I, he's always been fairly suburban. So it may, it, it, it may, I don't think it would have been in the heart of London. Mm. Um, that Chesington address has been his forever and a day. And to this mm. day. Yeah, yeah did he yeah, work at sure Chesington he... Computer Centre? I, I read mm. somewhere. Well, 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 there was a computer centre at Chesington, wasn't there? I don't know. I think he worked there for a uh, while. Maybe, it, maybe, yes. Yeah. Yes. I think some of the games in the um the, the Sicilian line were, were from there, I think, Chesney Computer right. Centre, possibly. Okay, yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Um Michael was always not evasive, but he 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 kept himself on the move. Um the very fact that he kept the old address, even though he lived in a caravan in the garden or something like that. Um in the end, I'm afraid sort of the world caught up with him a bit, but less. I, I just I just googled Chessington Computer Center, and there's an article in the New York Times. Um, Michael Basman, chess master known for bad openings, dies at seventy. <laughs> oh, really? Well, a bit cool. I don't know who wrote that, but it wasn't very keen. No. <laughs> Um, Michael Basman, international chess master, was known for playing some of the most irregular and least respected openings, often with success. Uh, died in October twenty, uh, October the twenty sixth in Carl Sholton, a suburb of London. Yes, he did. there's quite a lot of information on there. Um, perhaps I should share my screen and show you. But uh, if you're interested, shall I do that? Um, uh, share screen. If I get the right. Uh, the right page, then I can show you. Uh, must be that one. Share. Um, can you see my screen? See a black at the moment. I can see that it says you. Oh yeah. 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 You know, Martin. Can you see oh, that now? Yes. I've never seen oh. that photograph of him before. No, mm. I haven't. So, so, no. so this is. I, I literally googled computer center and and um, Chessington Computer Center. And the first two or three items didn't have Basman in it, but the, the next one did. So this is New York Times. Mm. Uh, so here we have him here with a nice picture. There was a, a nice picture, isn't a it? Very quick, mm. very uh, quick to appear. Uh, obituary in the Telegraph last Monday, and uh, okay to have uh, so quickly been flagged up. Shall I? I'll just scroll down because mm. we've got a nice picture. Well travelled. Most other top players followed Getty images. Oh, it's Getty images. Um, so here we Legends have the, the grub, the creepy crawly. 
Right. And George yeah. opening. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure most people reading yeah, this the grob. would not uh, have had a clue what, what was all St that. George's defence, what is that? Mm. Uh, can anyone remember? Begins I'm not sure if that's sort of A6, B5, is it? it was, yeah. Yes, that's right. It was the game... There was a mm. game between Karpov and Tony mm. Miles in 1980 in the European Team Championships in Moscow. Ah, there we go. And Tony uh, played, after Karpov's habitual 1E4, played A6 and then B5. Uh, look, look at this photograph of him at Nottingham Chess Congress in 79. That's, that's yeah, interesting. He looks like uh, Robert Bellin, which, in fact, is that is who we're photographed is of. Here's some more comment. Criticism is only Basma is a dangerous opponent amongst the strongest players of the late 60s and 70s. Yes, he was. Mm. Tied with Hartston. Uh, Sorry, James. Were you saying that the photograph is of the wrong person? Yes, I think it is. Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah that's Robert Bellin. Yeah. Well, that is, it's, it's, we, we, we better let the New York Times know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to uh, uh, renew my subscription. <laughs> um, ah, simultaneous there. There's well, Michael. I mean, that is that, that is mm. that is him, isn't it? That mm. is him. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. The, the, so interestingly, that you're saying that isn't. So they've made a mistake. I, I, no, there's no way on earth. That, I mean, it looks so much like Robert Bellin that, that okay. I think it's Sheila Jackson standing behind him. I'm not. Sure. I'd oh. have to study it. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep up. Because there's so much information in here. Mm, oh, we left yeah. the civil service. There you go. Mm, mm. Audio chess, so the, the cassette yeah. uh, recordings get mentioned. Well, 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 I've got a whole stash of those, which John Upham was supposed to be coming over to collect, but he, he never turned up, but they're still sitting by the door. So it may be, I spoke to Michael about this and he wasn't the slightest bit interested but it very, may very well be that, that some of these can be revived because I still think they're worth hearing. And they're also very entertaining. Yeah, yeah. yeah if they haven't been pop. published or, or sold or anyone owns them, then they'd be very good to get digitised so that... Um, yes, well, this is, what, them. this is what I thought and hoped, but he, he, he really wasn't... Um, and I'm all surprised at this, but he wasn't uh, interested. It's sad to see that his uh, brother here... Um, mm. died four months ago. Um, he was incapacitated for some years. I saw him. I didn't know him personally, um, but I did see him once at a tournament, and I think he was in a wheelchair. Okay. Um, I, I, yeah, I, re I recently went to um, Michael Basman's, I think he has a, a website, and on there, one of his last blogs was about at his brother's deathbed, so to speak, and he oh. actually got out a chess set and played through yeah. a game. That yeah. was quite interesting. Yeah. I, I saw I saw something on on Twitter or something about that. Yes, mm. right. Oh, and your it's... your mention of the uh, of the government and the three hundred thousand pounds gets mentioned here. Look, mm. in two thousand and sixteen. Yes. Um. It was uh, it was a difficult business because although he owned he owed an astronomic amount of back tax, what he did know was he wasn't going to be put put in prison for it. Um, perhaps I shouldn't be saying that, but 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 and, and finally it mentions at the bottom uh, one who can occasionally be counted amongst the group is Magnus Carlsen. Um, started many of his games in a recent online tournament about playing the Grob. So uh... <laughs> yeah, well, this was only uh, a mess about tournament, wasn't it? But nevertheless, um, it's nice that uh, uh, Michael would have known that. I think. Um, he wasn't always very particularly IT literate any more than I am, but um, yeah, he did, he did what he could. And people, uh, uh, he had uh, the um, Mongolians who had befriended him, uh, the Cyan bars, uh, would have kept him up to snuff. And so nice. Uh, can you see the images of uh, of him yes. here? Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's some nice stuff. Um, so anyway, that was any any other questions or comments? All right. Well, thank you very much, James. And uh, that was a nice couple of games and some very good um, discussion and comments yeah, about, uh, about the late Michael Basman. Yes. So, uh, and I, I think, him. yeah. So I think now's a good time for a short break for three or four minutes. 
Um, uh, and then we'll come back. And I think, Mark, you've got something to show. And indeed, anyone else who, who wants to show yeah. something can do so. So I shall stop uh, sharing. Um, and um, yeah, that was very good, James. So let's take a break for a few minutes. Uh, it's um, I'm calling it like King and Pawn Endgame, but uh, it's actually a game played by one of our uh, sometimes Camberley players. And I was um, w watching the game and, uh, and puzzled and played played through the moves myself and I'm and I'm still puzzled. So part of what I'm about to go through is uh, is um, trying to ask you to guess the moves because for the life of me, I, I just um, don't understand some of the things in what I think is a very simple end game. Anyway, the game was played in April by uh, Tim Davis against Reading's Alistair Mitchell Baker. And um, let me start and uh, share my screen. Uh, You're not going to show us the moves, are you, Mark? I'm not. I, I'm going to try and get you to guess some of the moves. Yeah, if so don't, don't, show, to... don't show us. Don't show us, Pike. Right. So let's try that. So if you could tell me when you can see my screen. Yeah, I can see your screen. Now, Martin said, don't show the moves, but I'm going to show the first three moves. So okay. just a bit of introduction here. So uh, Tim Davis is playing white. <laughs> Alistair is playing black. And it was uh, oh. a very boring uh, Caro Can where um, maybe Alistair, perhaps realising that Tim was a much higher rating, just took every opportunity to exchange pieces. And I must admit, if I'd have been playing this game on either side, I would have been either offered or accepted a draw many times through, throughout this, and even in this position, uh, would have accepted a draw. Now, I won't turn the engine on. Um, I may at some point. But the engine, I think, at the moment is um, is suggesting uh, 0.0, which is what you hmm. would expect, that this is drawn. And um, Well, so don't I'm, go overboard. Yeah. So yeah. I'm... <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, shall I just give you a hint here? The game was not drawn. And um, no, I, I, won't I won't tell you who won until a little bit later. It's um, exciting, isn't it? It's, well, it's, it's almost as exciting as blankety blank. <laughs> well, well, let's see. And, and if anything, you can... Um, one of the things I must say, um, just to, you know, a little bit of explanation about my play... Um, you know, I used to play a lot when I was young and I used to play team chess. And after 35 moves in an hour and a quarter, uh, the game was sent away for adjudication. So you never really played end games. You had an appreciation of them. Um, you um, would know, therefore, when a game was won. And if I'd reached this position, you knew it would be signified a draw. And you wouldn't... Um, uh, you, you wouldn't have sent it away. You would have saved the adjudication money. Uh, since sort of making, um, starting to play chess again uh, just a year or so ago and with the new time limits, meaning that you play these games out, I am perhaps realising that my end game uh, knowledge is very weak and poor. And therefore, I'm, I'm wondering if any of the following moves will mean anything to other people or mean more than me. So let me just play a few moves before stopping. Um, so um, White plays... Oh, Let's see if I can get this one. To, yeah, white plays h3, black plays a5. Um, these aren't necessarily the engine's first choice moves in all cases, but it doesn't dislike them. So we reach this position here. Ooh. And again, if Ooh. you were to turn the engine oh. on. Oh, I'm, I'm panicking now for, for, for white. I if was you, from the if beginning. If you turn the engine on, uh, the engine would say... Um, that this is uh, 0. 0.0. Is the move uh, just king d3? Just stopping yeah, the king from yeah, getting Yeah, king has to go to d3, because otherwise yeah. black's going to just pawn. march over to get the a3, isn't he? Mm. Right, well, I, I think this is where I, I'd agree with all of you that I would have thought here that the move is king d3. And, um, and just so, in fact, let me just play that move. Um, so, so we'll play... Oh, um, got mm. we'll play oh, oh, oh. Now, oh. I must admit, if this was me, I'd go here, and then I might, you know, I, I don't know what the next move is, but I would have thought that this game, this position is drawn. Let me just go back. Well, perhaps it is drawn after that. Yeah. 
Well, let me explain. Why, why, let's... Might, why it might be able to do something better. Okay, well... Um, I've just thought of something. Can I just say to you that um, after King D3, the engine gives the game as um, King D3 is a blunder. Right. What? <laughs> Does it is let it black a, get is through? It through? Is it a blunder or is it a bad move compared to something better? It is a blunder. It is, um, according to this, with best play, um, so let's so uh, can with you get best a pause? play? Oops, sorry, I don't know why that happened. Um, with best play, apparently white now loses. Whoa! So, what is the move for black? To is it F F six? Sure. No, that 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 is crazy. Oh, I meant H six. Sorry. Um, no, no, it's <laughs> not. Said that, get out. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know you, you 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 can probably you're probably looking in the right area because you can, it's clear that there are no obvious king moves i mean maybe king d4 uh, does do something but uh sorry king d5 um it's it's obvious what, what, when, when you point it out so I'll, I'll wait for somebody to select the uh, the right the correct move for black surely king d5 you could describe that as the opposition couldn't you if you consider the positions of yeah. the well, well, let's um, let's and just play, play that because obviously here, you know, if white moves to e3, then you can see that black gets in at c2. Um, you'd have to analyze what happens if black white goes king c3, and is there options for the king escape yeah. from b4? But white could always move a pawn. In the, oh yes, yeah, not many. But yeah, but but then you know, let's say white does this, then black suddenly. Yeah, you know what's happening, and then the position is looking a bit drawn. Uh, don't you think that G five is a good move? Because doesn't that freeze the black pawns, regardless of whether you're winning, drawing, or, or standing on one leg? It, G, after G five, you can't play a, you can't move any of the pawns. Yeah. So it's only king moves. Which yeah, is but then White can get the opposition again, and he's got one more white pawn move to do. Yes, indeed. So that's better for white, isn't it? Yes. Okay. But it's not random. That what I'm saying is, it, it, if h4, then black might be able to play h5 or, or h6. But if you're cutting down the options after g5, you ain't got nothing. Mm. This okay. looks like this is going to be a very instructive king and pawn um, study. So. Um... After this move, if I was to tell you how, um, sh shall I just sum it up by saying black to play and win on this this move then, and then we'll find uh, and then we'll work out what white should have played rather than king d three. Okay. Uh. And we might have to play the moves out to, to prove it to ourselves. Yeah, I, I and I might. could cheat and put the engine on, but... Uh... No, no, leave the engine off, because you're you're telling us um, what the engine is saying, and I think I think it's better the engine off. Um, yes. So what, what can Black do? I mean, what, what can Black do? He, he can do H5, he can do H6, he can do... Somebody suggested... What? What was the last G5. one? G5. Right. G Shall we try G5 on the board? That's very creative. Oh, that's, that's innovative. Yes, that's different. Yeah, because yes. if you take it, King... Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. I like, I like G5. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think you might have hit the, hit the answer there. Um, and I think without going through it, I think perhaps if we look at that line, you can see how black would would win that one but you could say well does and this is where i thought it was interesting um so let's say white decides well i can't take the pawn so i'd have to go here or or mm -hmm. here uh, let's go there perhaps and well, then, yeah well, then the they can go there so yeah. it's a decoy maybe yeah that's lost now for white i think it is yeah 
Yeah. Go go back a minute. When when um when 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 you played G uh five, uh go back a move. And and you 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 said, oh well, if F takes G five, King D five is easy, but wins. Uh oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just can't take it, can he? Yeah. No. So G5 looks like a good move. So on that basis, well, can if you I, sorry, can we analyze yeah. it a little bit? If yes, you play G5. Yeah, me... Oh, I'm very I'm sorry. Back. Oh, there's no worries. There. Uh, um, I don't know what's happened there. Let me uh it's one of your Google Google thing, one of your Chromes at the bottom. I don't know who that is running along the sea. I've seen it before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. So can you see the screen again? Yeah. Yeah. Better. yeah. Okay. So I G5. think we... if you follow the line down again, yeah, G5. Oh, hang on. The, the positions change. That move, yeah. And yeah. then that move, yeah. Yeah. And then if you play what you did before, King E4, I think it was, and then King C4. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, I think I'll do. Why can't you? Can't you take the pawn there? F takes G, and then if Black goes and runs for the pawn, you can just trap, you him, in, trap him in front of the pawn. I oh, know. I don't think it's a win. I think it's a draw. Oh, I see. So oh, if he yeah, takes it, you take a position. It's it, it's confinement, isn't it? A word from Victorian pregnancy. Yeah, no, that's a good point. And White's got a pawn move or two in in reserve. So does that? So what's the winning move for Black instead of C four? Is my question. King C4, sorry. Well, maybe yeah, take on, take on F4. Is, it, is that speculative or is that. Is it, he recaptures. Mm -hmm. uh, how about the. G, 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 G takes F4. But then the king gets in. Oh. The white king gets in, maybe? Sorry, well, this is proving a little unstable. Um, I think it was. This isn't it. Well, that's this. Yeah. And then this. So do we well, say this? That now you take, and that's worse for white now. Well, you could actually. Oh. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. Yeah. Oh, it's the same. I'm wondering. No, it's not. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm. White's got plenty of pawn moves. In in fact, he's got he's got. So white wins in this line. Uh, how? Uh, H five no, and then G five. Yeah, uh -huh. I think it's just a draw we here. Isn't there, it? but if yeah. we well, just because yeah. black it, just doesn't want to move a pawn, he just has to move the king, right? So if we go back. <clears throat> I'm going to I think up. your move H6 looked good. Yeah. That move. Because then it still threatens to this come in. And if this move, if the king moves to defend the pawn, then this pawn takes. Mm. Um, but if pawn takes, perhaps. No, pawn, pawn, pawn on. Pawn F5 is good. That's 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 that then gets you two pawns and gets you a pass pawn. Oh yes. Mm. That's winning for white now. Okay, well, what, what's the but does he win? He win, Does black win the race? Oh, black, no, just, black, so just, black, just, black just sits there, doesn't take it. So I don't think it is winning. Uh, but it's not losing for white now, whereas before... You've changed your tune. <laughs> <laughs> Call yourself a chair. <laughs> well, well, here you go. Right, what's white's move now? Well, he's struggling, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, 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 gosh. He went yeah, your H6, H6 was your move. Yeah. The dreadful danger of this has oh. got to calculate. And none I'm of us a bit confused now. So G5 is the move. And then what's the white's best reply? Sorry, I keep... Uh... Let me just go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just go back a bit here. So it's that. Yeah, then it's G5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a bit confusing. So what's White's best reply? Is that the next question? Well, I think it has to be this, doesn't it? He can't do anything else, surely, unless he does go here. 
Well, no. Somebody, somebody taught me something about endings, which is very useful. <laughs> um, he said, don't do, <laughs> he goes there, I'll go there, he goes there, I'll go there. Just treat each movement by uh, count the number of moves that it would take the king on c5 to come forward, take the a pawn, move out of the way, and queen the a pawn, his own a pawn. Count the number of moves. Count the number of moves that it would take white to, uh, however he manages it, to promote a pawn. Mm -hmm. Compare the numbers. I'm not saying that's the answer to, you know, but... I, that is a useful thing to know. Yeah, the, the odd times I play in games, James, I think I, I do the, right, I'll do that, he does that, and then when, when we get to, let's say, two or three on each side, uh, yeah, I do revert back to that advice and start counting yeah, this is Roy Ashmore, a, a name perhaps some of you might know, and he was a very strong in-game player. Mm. Um, I'm not saying, as I say, that's revolutionary, but, you know, it's better than... Otherwise, I would play to try and compromise or or to be honest be worried that i just was going to play a series of very bad moves hmm. so if if we don't analyze this i'm just going to take one step forward and we can come back to this but i'm just going to well, go after back g5 to... what's the best move do we think or what does the machine say i i don't know i i haven't uh, analyzed that but i'm just going to stop here for um uh, and in fact, I'm going to go to here. This so, is the real game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the real game. So I'm just going to say, just so, so that we're agreed, after king d3, then um, we, we, we are saying that the game is, is lost because of g5. And therefore, to point out then, what do you think um, white's best move is in this position? H4. I didn't think this position occurred. All oh, right, yes, h4. It stops g5. Or, or g5 itself. Or g5, yeah. So, the, so I think this g5 apparently is, is, is the, um, the best move for white. Um, um, the white best move for white to draw. Exactly. Yes. Right. Is that because if move? black goes for the pawn, you block him in. If he doesn't, he ain't got anything else the method to do. James showed, yes. Right. So well, it's got no better way of, of white can't win with h4, presumably. No. no. No, right. We know that, do we? Right. Yes. Um well, well we could we could play it out if you want. It, it, it's logical because uh, he, he could just do, I don't know, h5, for example. Yes, and, and and then that's it, isn't it? You take it or you push on, it doesn't make any difference. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just ignore it. Just ignore it and go king c4, don't you? Yes. You you ignore it. It can't. Uh... Well, it's going to be too late. No, no. You can. You. Oh. Oh yes, that's even better. Oh, we can do a Roy Ashmore now and just count the moves for but each. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. So well, I don't know. <laughs> what about if you take um, and taking the A pawn and then getting out of the way? I was going to go with the king to the A pawn. Is that not quicker? Good, good point. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, no, yeah, but without C, without king D four, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. One, yeah, two, yes. three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's yeah. that's better. Better than what? <laughs> six is better than seven so black black to play and win king b3 wins that's it because this time this time he's too far away to block him you can shoulder yeah that, that's a word uh, you, you'd go b2 to be honest but anyway yes you would yes you would go king b2 oh. uh but that's fine you're still winning yeah that's it it's one now hmm. so Good stuff. I mean, that that is it's good, it's good king and pawn ending stuff. Yes. So what's right. happened? So um, it doesn't end there. Okay. Well, so we're right. going to say then that, tears. that king d3 is um, is losing um, mm. because of g5. Uh, um, however, in the game, 
um, black played uh, king d5. So missed the winning move and played here. Uh, obviously hoping for some sort of repetition okay, so now. What went wrong with king d3? Yeah. But black didn't go g5 and black went king d5. Exactly. That looks okay. excellent. But That's it's... quite logical. I think most players would do this, actually. Yeah, they would. Yeah. No, you wouldn't spot g5. So now what's the situation? I think that now does g5. Just For what? g5. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be um, back into the line uh, that we've met. So yeah. I, I think here, though, using James uh, James Pratt's advice, I think we, we, we uh, maybe do a bit of counting here. One, uh, so let's say the king's going to go for the eight pawn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Too slow. Let's say black's going to go once the king goes over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. So drawn. Well, um, however, it all depends. It, yeah, it would depend on whether there's some cheapo at the end, which. Right, so let's let's play through the game. So um, I'm still saying, yeah, this position is drawn. And so what we have now is white, therefore, has done his counting and says, right, I'm going to go for this. Oh, he's going for it. Yeah. So black's going for it. Oh. Didn't see this coming. Right, so I'm just going to stop here. One move with the king. Two, three, four, five, six. six. One, two, three, four, five. So, so but black goes first, so they queen at the same time. Got to so, be careful where you go. I, 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 I'd be. Your queen, black queen's going to be on e1. Yep. And white queen's obviously going to be on a8. A8. Yeah. And is it going to be white's move? Yes. So you've got to be careful where that king goes. That king might be better over somewhere like f6 or f6. something. F6, agreed. It, it just looks a bit safer. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> so, so if we, but if we can just sort yep. of agree, um, Black to play, one, two, three, four, five, six. White, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So black queens, one move after white. And assuming there's no, there's going to be a lot of checks going on, but um, yeah, you would have thought black king can escape through here. There's going to be no way white can fork the king against the, um, against the queen. Um, not fork, I don't know what the... the um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so therefore, on this basis, um, what what is what what is the next best move for Black? Well, we said King F six, but you're saying that might not be right. Correct. Well, it's interesting to speculate. I mean, uh... does that mean White can get back and stop Black? Well, can we come if to he goes D to F six? Can we come to D six and and? If we go to C seven, are we are we actually oh. stopping the pawn in its path? Oh, I see. Oh, we've just saved a move. Yes. Uh, no, I no, we, we haven't. No, we haven't. No, but what so we wait a minute. Can first, we go yeah. to wait? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have saved a move. I don't know how, but we seem to have saved a move because now it's black queening first. I was worried about white queening first. Be, be, yeah, because because you've gone king d uh, six. six, you've made black uh, white move his king. Therefore, we gained a move. So therefore, that's better than king f six because then white doesn't move oh, his king. Oh, clearly, yes. I mean, uh, I mean, I I just wanted more. Right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, another thing here then. Black yeah. to play and win. Well, I think I think we said King D six looks better than King F six. 
Okay. It forces so, another white king move, doesn't so, it? So, so let me let, let me just play through, so you know, a variation as to how that might go, and see see what see what you think. Right now we go pawn up. Yep. Well, no, no. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, let me just get to the end of this variation. Yeah. Oh no, no. I'm sure it's. And yeah, I suppose even here, yeah, there's it's not loss for black, is it? It's not loss for black. It's, but, it's winning um, for black, isn't it? You can oh, force yeah, the you, you can force queen, the king you can onto the a file. Queens queen. off and win the ending. Yeah, yeah. And, and then can the king come across? Yeah. Queen B, queen B four wins. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have to go there, then you go check again, and you swap the queens. Yes. And now, surely you've won. Can white just ignore black trying to stop the ape on though? And well, that's a in... different variation, but th yeah. this is one for black, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, it is. That... Yes. Yeah, 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 that's easy. That's easy now. That's it. That's it. Okay. Right. Would you yeah. have the technique, Martin, to win that? Two pawns for against nothing. <laughs> I do want to push my. Hang on, I just spotted when the two kings are. Uh, uh, when I go to d6, it, it induces a white king move. What I wanted to do was to go to d7, but it, I don't think it makes. You can just see me off. I can't get. I can't get any closer to the pawn. But is there anything else here? So, yeah. This is yeah. what I'm. I'm wondering. Can, yeah, it's a good question. Can, can white just ignore black trying to stop his pawn? Is what I'm thinking. Yeah, go for his pawns instead. So C, yeah, C five. Oh, whoa! It's not. Oh, yes. I don't the think. Problem I'd... is, is as soon as uh, White tries to go for that one, then this one F, marches forward. F five. No, but can't you just stay? Because this king's split between defending his pawns and getting the a pawn. Yeah, he is. That's the fun of yeah. it. Your king, the butt king's got to stay Can he go here? Oh no, yeah. Don't... Don't, don't and no, waste, but then you infiltrate. No, instead of king b5, I think d6, yeah. No, don't don't do don't move your king off c7. Oh yeah, but this e pawn can run away. I see what you're saying. No. Oh, for God's sake, whose side are you on here? So you so can't now do the, that. You now can't the pawn do runs that. away. Can't yeah. do that. Oh, it, it, it's one for black, isn't it? Okay, well, can, can I just maybe point out the following? You can. Well, you can. And the move that was actually played in the game. Is it what? F, is it F5? Like, that was my fault. Trying to force another pawn. Let's see. Uh, sorry, I think we've gone a little bit off. shows a lot of guns. It was... Uh, H4. King D3. King D5. Uh, King C3. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, this variation is here somewhere, isn't it? King D4, yes. King D4. Yes. Um, yeah, you're. I think you're following it through there, right? Well. I'm struggling. Oh, sorry. King takes. King takes F4. King takes A4. King takes E5. And then King B5. And in this position, can you play? My thought was F5. Yeah. That move is what I was trying to get to. Yes. And then you've got. The Connecting and, past pawns, and the key thing is when black queens, he it's queens with check. Oh, well, perhaps you don't put your king on b five then. Correct. That would have. Uh, you go that back would to b three, which looks That's illogical. That, don't yeah. go b four because you've got an e pawn, but go to b three and there isn't a d pawn. So, and I hesitate to put the engine on, but this is where you you oh. wonder here that if. We had put the engine on here. You would have seen that actually that is a losing move, yeah. and as you say, Martin, that may have been a drawing move. Okay. Really? And f five is a winning move, mm. whereas both sides trying to queen this pawn and this pawn. I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but uh, yeah, it depends on the king d six. But all wow. I'm trying to say is what looked like a very boring end game. Uh, it's not. That was drawish. You can see. 
winning opportunities for each side on every, uh, you know, three or three or four consecutive moves. And the, and the players could not possibly have calculated all of this. Well, uh, you have to think that maybe Tim, <laughs> Tim what, knew not what, knew what he was playing when. What what what, what, uh, what happened then? So in this position, we had um, after f5, they just played this out. A4, f4. I think I remember seeing this. A5, f3, a6. Well, which is a disaster now, isn't it, for white? And yeah, check. because of the placing of the king. Um, I, that's it. You're just going to swap the king queens off at some point, and that's it. Yeah. So you know, wherever wherever um, white goes, um, you know, presumably black just uh, goes over. Uh, um, well, you can just exchange. Well, takes this pawn off and queens this pawn. Yeah. 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 Well, so in this, in this position here, white resigned. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, it is resignable. That, that's the chivalrous. So, so it, the the last mistake White made looks like King B five instead of King B three. Is that correct? Oh, do we think that that, that would be a draw? Well, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be as bad. Uh, I, I guess what. <laughs> <laughs> King B five was lost. Therefore, must tie you down. King B3 must be better, but you're right, it might not still be won, uh, drawn. Mm. So go go back to when the king moves. Uh, after taking the... No, no, go forwards now. Take we're the happy, We're happy with this. Yeah, net, go forwards one more move. Now, yes. no, no, go back. No, now, now we want to go... Can we go King B3? Is that drawn now? And what does the machine think? Uh, oh. yeah. Do we want to turn the machine on now for a yes. little bit? On then. We can still have some fun with our variations, but I want his its assessment. Well, it's saying minus four point minus five, which yeah. Right, right. So we 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 agree that f five is the move here. F five wins anyway. Then is what they're saying. A four. F four. A five. All right. Oh, King ah. five. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! That's now it gets you... even more complicated. Yeah, just go, just go back and move, Mark. Supposing, supposing we're thick and we get no, no. Go with uh, a five. No, uh, now go a uh, f three because we we think we're just going to win here. What? Oh, it still wins anyway. Stockfish is just telling us there's a better, an even stronger way to win. It's still winning. I mean, the normal move would be to go and get your queen, wouldn't it? Yes. But but um, what it said is move your king over does a better job. But this is still winning, isn't it? I think it's, yeah, mainly because, yeah, it's uh, queen and three versus queen and one. Yeah, it just got queen and none. Queens. And uh, yeah. at some point, yeah, you uh, managed to get the queens off. But that a bit, little bit more play and having to watch out the checks here. It's probably made in 79 from here or something. So, in fact, that there was no way back for the white player. Yeah. So, if I just go back a little yeah. bit then, and <laughs> I think the other move to look at was... Um, we did look at that. No, I think that was that, that was it. So... Um, so, go, go, go back in time with the engine switched on, and at what point does... Black suddenly start winning. Right. Here's the engine. Zero. Right. So, yeah. Zero. This is, this is, yeah. This will show the big mistake. So, Black's starting to lose now. Yeah. So, now you can see engine recommending G5 and a level match. Can I just play this one that was mentioned? Yeah. Right. Oh. It doesn't like that. See, and to me, I would oh. have thought G5, H4, not a lot in it. but uh, oh, there's a lot in it, isn't there, according to Stockfish? Yeah. <laughs> So, bloody hell. Now here I would have thought, yeah, you just play for this, but it doesn't this work. is where we count well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. 
One, two. Oh, it, it's a lot. Okay, what? How does white can't actually break through at all? There? No, he can't. No. So that's why that's winning. Yeah. So in this position, mm -hmm. white, white has to play. Oh, sorry. I think G five and just G five. And it's um it's drawn. Strong. King C four. King so where's three. the mistake? So obviously, if it goes for this, uh, if the black king goes for this pawn, you move the white king just, across. You can just. And can just suggesting a bit of repetition here. We can but, bodge it up. Right. So suddenly, white's winning. No, it's still a draw. <laughs> I'm teasing. How is that happening? The black's gone over that way now. Yeah, for God's sake, who's <laughs> that's so counterintuitive? I reckon it's ridiculous. <laughs> you, never, you never do that. No, no, yeah. So Whose side are you on anyway? Let's, let, let's not do it, but let's Watch go back. Jim Davis is spinning in his coffin. This one here, and there you go. It, it oh, changes from zero. So queen, yeah, King D3 is an error. It's the losing game. Moved it doesn't look this. like it is, though, does it? No. Wow. And after like, that, I can't. So, so this is this was Tim uh, played a blunder. Yes. His opponent then, as you can see, goes oh, from wow. minus, goes six. To minus six to plus six. Yeah. Because, I've never seen, now, because I've now G five is even well, better for some reason. Hang on, I'm getting Four points. It changed by twelve points on yeah. on two on one move. Hang on. Yeah. So what should have been? <laughs> What should have black done yeah, then? What, show me the best play. The best Again, that play. one. What should, yeah, we looked at that. Ah, that's I don't think I was in any doubt of that. What, 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 what. Oh, so, sorry, let me do that. And Tim, then... Tim's move, Tim's king was on E4 and it went to D3, yes? That was the mistake. Yes, it should have stayed where it was and played G5 to immobilise the, the, the black king side. Yes. 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 And that at that moment, they could have... Not Locks uh, it in. Shaken hands. Yeah. So Tim played King D3, which is a very, a very human reaction. Blunder. Doesn't look wrong, does it? And again, this is the reason why that's a blunder. So. And did, did, did the, the Reading player know that? Did he play it? Right. So the Reading player played, played uh, D5. King D5. Which is logical, but he, he's played a move that's very logical, but suddenly it's losing. What? Because Tim can play G5. This is amazing. But again, Tim doesn't. doesn't. Uh, yeah. So G5 is the winning move for white and black. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a tribute to Michael Basman. That you oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to play G4, then G5 as white from now on, because that's winning. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Providing the other moves intervene. So, so do you see what I mean? That Here's me getting very puzzled here, that I would have just agreed to draw many moves ago, and you go into this, and there's so much in it that I don't think it's logical or I wouldn't have the intuition. No. About, I, and think, it's, um, I think it's a lot of people puzzling. would have said that. Yeah. yeah. All right, think, good. So it's not just me. I uh, honestly, there's no way we could have worked all this out. But, but I think there's a bit of a lesson down. here. There's a lesson which says just be aware that you've only got three or four or five moves possible on the board yeah. and uh, possibly one is winning, one might be losing. That's probably a good message. So have a good think about it if you've got the time because it, it, it can spin from plus six to minus six, which I, I would never have believed. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, that is. Uh, from the... You expect it to go from plus if you naught to plus two, or maybe plus three if you make a blunder, but but you don't expect it to go plus six and then minus six, do you? So white could win if if it can mobilize immobilize the pawns. So, so what's the winning line here for White? Yeah, exactly. Can we play that's, it out? That's what I'm asking. I still don't know. Well, we've done all of this. G5. Yeah, no, 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 but the actual how it plays out. Oh, and then White gets in. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. 
want. And the difference is F F five doesn't work this time. But pushing the F pawn doesn't work. Oh yes. <laughs> wow, that's F5. amazing. Yeah, F five doesn't work. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Because of yeah. this is too slow for black. Yeah, and then he can't play F five in this position, which was the winning move. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he's too slow now. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, that, that's the subtlety in it is incredible. Plus, plus, plus 60. 60. <laughs> plus 60. But still, you just try. Ah, because. Force the. Yeah, oh, into the yeah, E-file. That's, so that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Wow, G5 and again, stopping F5. Again, when you're seeing that race here, I don't know if I'd have worked that one out, but yeah, I suppose that is. You could work that out, couldn't you? You, but... could, work, you could work that out. Yeah, you could. You've got to be on the ball, haven't you? And the trouble is you, you get into these endings and you spent two hours playing or three hours playing and you're getting a bit tired and you kind of, I don't know, you, you kind of jump at it a bit sometimes and that's when you make a mistake. I hope that Tim Davis gets to see this. Um, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put it on there and we'll... Uh, I hope... t t Tim, we'll make sure you watch this. So hang on, I still don't know. <laughs> I still don't know what happened in the game. It, it, it did... Right, back to the game. Did Tim win? Is your question, James? Yes. Yes. So uh, Tim won because. Uh, oh, hold on, we didn't play. Uh, Wait, exactly, he didn't. <laughs> Let's just play the moves that happened. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, what we what we just done? Uh, Black has just played uh, King D five. Um, and G G five was was not played, which is a mistake. White plays uh, King C three. Big mistake. Yes. Black plays now. Black. black goes the other way. Tim's black, isn't he? Tim is. Um, Tim, Tim is. Oh. No, Tim's white. Well, he's losing then. Tim's white, yeah. He wasn't playing himself, was he? Tim, Tim is white, isn't he? Uh... Well, he's losing then. <laughs> I, I, I may have got this the wrong way around. Gentlemen, I'm... I think we're having a personality crisis here. I thought you oh, showed yeah. the end of the game where you said yeah. White resigned after the promotion. Oh, yes, there was another mistake later. Keep going. Yeah, so it was... Uh... Yes, this was B5. this is where the white makes a mistake now. White plays B five, King B five instead of King B three. Look, now black can win. Yeah, Tim Tim is black, isn't he? I'll, I'll have a look in a minute. I'll, I'll uh, so F five, A four. Boy, that that's clearly black winning. Yeah, because we're we're queening with check. We can queen with check, and and that, and therefore we can swap queens, and therefore we can win with three. Um, white so let me have a look. In sorry, I've. Uh, yeah, Tim's black. Tim's black. I'm looking at the score sheet. Yes, now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not editing and showing this. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, I, I, I got down here that white. Uh, apologies, I got down here that White resigned, and White was Alistair Mitchell Baker. Yeah, apologies. So Tim is black. You're right. Yes. Well, you did a very good job of hiding the fact that Tim was. It didn't matter who was playing because. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, I actually remember part of that last bit, so that's good. Yeah, because I, I do remember Tim winning and just Fair not up, knowing yeah. what was going on in those early stages. So, so yes. Uh, I'll tell you what, that's an incredible um, king and pawn study because... Yes, it is. What was there? Four, 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 four or five pawns each at the beginning? Go back yeah. to the beginning position, if you wouldn't mind, Mark. I think it was six, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, six, six each. So, basically, it's... Uh, is it white to move? Yeah. yeah. And, and I actually started the... Um, oh, yeah. Started you started the it there. But, basically, it's, it, it's drawn... Yeah. Stockfish says it's drawn. Yeah. So 
it's it's six pawns each and it's drawn but boy is there an opportunity for either side to lose it all over that g5 square yes interesting so an h4 if if you if white had had a pawn on h4 earlier that presumably changes the Oh, it's just gone minus six. <laughs> so no. no. No, no, it needed to be earlier. It needed to be not, not at that move. Yeah. If the if the pawn was already there, then then that would have stopped G5 well, just, by just black. Just to give you an example here. Yeah. And then black did go here, didn't he? Then if white wins. White wins by G5, but not it's... by not by H4. Oh, h4 h4 is very logical why would why would you do g5 at this point to stop black doing g5 that's the point of this yeah and then white, white's winning now if black the king there but yeah if, if black here then get the opposition again and then win the h a pawn if needed yeah yeah that's good. It's a very good king and pawn uh, study. One, one of the best I've seen, actually. Yeah, it's um, yeah. I just would like to think I fully understand it, and uh, you know, I could take some lessons forward. I think, as you say, Martin, you've just got to take some lessons that what that what uh, you think is a drawing position may not be, and um, I think some of the techniques in here, um, such as uh, black playing uh, g five. Yeah, and then taking that opposition and winning the pawn are, are very, you know, you see that a lot in king and pawn games, and they're not obvious. Um, yeah, the, the, the other thing I've I've learned is that the king, when it went to b three, the white king, um, that was okay, and yet we knew not to go to uh, b four because the. Uh, sorry, uh, to b5 because the f pawn yeah. would queen with, with check. That's down here. Uh, yeah. we, we, or I, I, I think probably we, but I certainly thought b4 was fine. But actually, Black did a clever little move which then enabled his e pawn to queen with check. Yeah. So therefore, b, king b3 was the safer, better, win, uh, uh, better option. So, I thought that was still losing when we. It, it. it may have been, but it was a little yeah. lesson I learned as we were going through because uh, you clearly it looked all right to put your king somewhere there. Yeah. But actually another pawn, <laughs> queen with check. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think it still it still lost anyway, didn't it? But, but, uh, but yeah, just even just thinking that far ahead that if the <laughs> pawn queens I'm in check. It's well, hard to, it's I think hard most to see. of us know. To not put the king somewhere where the when you've yeah. got a race, you've got to be checking ideally, but certainly not being checked. But but to see all of that before you start taking all the pawns is yeah where the yeah like how are you supposed to see it four moves ago? <laughs> so just to show what we're talking about here, if the uh, king goes to b five, which we know is an error because of f five, that um, because of the check that's minus eight. If we were to go to here, it's still approximately minus eight. So, right. Why doesn't it make a difference? Um, what 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 happens if you go king b three instead? Back king, one king b three. Go back. Go back now. Go to king b three. So what, what you're saying is it doesn't make any difference, but I yeah. think the I think the thing is the king here. Um, praise uh, yeah. you know causes check but yeah. um th this pawn <clears throat> still this, this, line, this line doesn't work because well let's see mm. I, I think I, it just ends up swapping queens again i think that was yeah. the problem and yeah. then you've got an extra pawn and your king's closer yeah. exactly so interestingly i don't know if you saw uh the engine recommending that um I think that's right. Yeah, the engine recommending. Well, G five is just. Uh, <laughs> well, the interesting thing about that is that doesn't help. No. It oh, just pushes, it helps it just a pushes bit. things back a bit. The king back a bit. Oh, oh and then it's true. 
Oh, oh I thought for a minute it'd recover, but it yeah, hasn't. I thought it yeah, was. It's, it, it's, it's the same yeah. thing, isn't it? That it's still lost. Black yeah. gets the queens off and uh, is, is, uh, is king and pawn up and his king is... Yeah, is, it, it, it's yeah. lost away a go. But if, he, if Black didn't have such a poor majority, it would be quite a different game, I think. Yes, yes. Yes, very good, uh, very good. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mark. No, thank you. Yeah. It was just good that that came from, uh, you know, one of our players and it came yeah. through... Uh...